What up you guys? I want to talk about how Apple took over my life and the life of developers everywhere. So in 2014, I was coming out of college and I was a die-hard PC fanboy. Not only did I not own a single Apple product, but I thought they were a huge waste of money. Fast forward to today and I quite literally have two MacBook Pros, an iPad Pro, an iPad Air 2, and both my wife and I own an iPhone. So the question is, how did Apple take over my life, and specifically, why is it that every web designer and web developer around the globe works by the glowing light of their MacBook Pro screen, and not the much less expensive Windows laptop? This is not just some video I decided to make one day. The other day I looked over all of my products and I literally asked myself out loud, when did I become an Apple fan? So my first Apple product was actually a MacBook Pro and an iPad Air 2 that I got for work. I got them because my job was to literally design an iOS application, and Apple being Apple forces you to develop on iOS for Mac. Ding! That is reason number one. Not specifically that you can develop for iOS, but that Mac OS as a development tool is a lot more flexible and inclusive than Windows. Windows you can make an Android app, but Mac OS you can do both Android and iOS. Same goes for command line tools. Windows has partial bash and Unix support, while Mac has a true bash experience by having a Unix kernel. So while I hate the age old phrase from Apple of, it just works, when it comes to development, it's kind of true. Reason number dos, the terminal and Unix kernel that Mac OS X shares with Linux is not something to be overlooked. Almost every server online today runs Linux. And that's just not me saying that it's popular, it is truly as close as possible to being the only way to run a web server in 2017. Sure, you can do it on Windows or OS X, but 99% of the world uses Linux to host their websites. So what does that mean? That means that if you are a web developer or a system administrator, you will without question run into the occasional situation where you have to deal with Linux. And since Linux and OS X share an almost identical terminal command structure, the information translates very easily. I would say once a week I type a command into my Mac that I originally learned while doing system administration on Linux. Reason number three, price is not considered and the hardware is top notch. Now let me dissect that one a little bit. First, I think it's obvious that the hardware of a MacBook Pro is exceptional. It is something that thousands of developers and designers the world over can pretty much unanimously agree on. The keyboards are great, the screens are amazing, the battery life is second to none, and the performance is good enough for almost anything that you would do at work. Speaking of work, that leads into the price statement from earlier. When I say that price is not a consideration, I am not talking about a normal, regular, everyday consumer. As a designer or a developer who works on a computer 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, 52 weeks a year, I absolutely must have a computer that works reliably, does what I need it to do without question, and is not inconvenient on the hardware or software side. Now Macs are a ton of money, don't get me wrong, but it is something that myself and others need day in and day out, and we and our employers gladly pay the price for maximum productivity. Reason number 4. Alternative Ecosystems so this final point is why I now have six Apple products instead of none and why I think that Apple puts almost no R&D into their new MacBooks every year. Put bluntly, the MacBook Pro is a great option for every designer or developer. Sure, you can use whatever you want, but it is pretty much the best choice that you can make. And so when you look at competing setups, nothing really compares. You can have an Android and your Mac and everything works together great. You can have an iPhone and a Mac and everything will work together just a little bit better. You can have an iPad or a Fire tablet, but the iPad will work a little bit better with your devices and you can sync between iMessage on all three. Apple does not have a perfect product. They simply have products that are ever so slightly better than the competition. Their phones and tablets are arguably worse, but if you have a MacBook Pro for work, which you probably do, you might as well go all in with the rest of the ecosystem and reap the rewards. In summary, I think I am an Apple fan. But they are not my idol and they're not my god. I still have my PC, it is still more performant, has more monitors, has more pixels, has more control and more extensibility than my MacBook Pro ever will. However, when I look inward, I could clearly see how Apple worked its way into my life. When it comes to programming, development, and design, Apple just edges out the competition with their hardware. So the day that Google releases a robust laptop with full Linux support and can somehow have a more vertically integrated ecosystem than Apple, I will gladly throw my MacBook Pro on eBay, but until then, this is just the world we live in.
Alright, so I hope you guys liked the video. This is my first video where I do more of a deep dive into a subject around tech rather than a proper tech review of a product. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, later guys. Whoop, 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 whoop.